Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Action Comics number 77, The Headline Hoax. It's the return of the prankster again, doing kind of the similar story he did last time where he was making wishes come true. This time he overhears a rich man. This rich man wants to own two separate companies, a shipping company and a steel factory. The prankster tells him he knows how to get it. So the prankster takes control of a newsstand, which seems to be the most popular newsstand in Metropolis, possibly the only newsstand because both of the CEOs to those companies go there for their newspaper, which Frankster knows and creates fake newspapers showing that their businesses are in trouble with like a sunken ship and one of the steel factories going missing or something like that. So they're very eager to sell. And it just so happens the rich man's nearby to buy the companies. The prankster also uses this ability to make a jewel thief he knows think the police are on him, so he immediately goes to go see his jewels so the prankster can steal them. Why is this coming up? Well, they have to have a reason for the prankster, a guy who has broken out of prison and is on the run right now, to be thrown into jail when he gets captured. Didn't need a reason. Clark gets wind of this when all the articles are under his name, so these guys, once they find out that the stories aren't true, blame Clark. So so Clark looks into this. This doesn't take very long for him to figure out that it's the prankster. So he has an idea. Superman goes to those two men. Just so happens the prankster has taken over the companies from the rich man because you can't trust the prankster. Someone's going to double cross someone. But before he can sell the companies back for a fortune, Superman actually accomplishes what those fake stories do by destroying one of the ships, which I guess would be a bad thing, Superman and kidnapping a bunch of steel workers in a factory and putting them in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what's wrong with Superman right now. He's doing really bad stuff for really stupid reasons. <laughs> so now the prankster wants to sell very quickly because the companies are not worth what they were. They don't want the businesses anymore, but they do want jewels. They can't be this stupid. So when he comes to bring over the jewels, Superman apprehends him and sends him to jail for, you know, stealing those jewels. Except... He was already on the run. He didn't, there was no reason for this extra bit of plot. So yeah, it's the prankster going through his new old sort of story that's at least, I guess, a little more interesting than the last ones. It's still um, taking a level to believe this is going to happen, but it is a Superman story where someone flies. So my disbelief is already pretty high. Okay, that is it from Action Comics number 77, Headline Hoax. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe with the bell icon to get notifications when a new video is up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. Until next time, let us ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? And why did everyone go to that one newsstand? I feel like this is important. Okay, have a great day.